Hi guys, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. This video is all about uh, basic keyframing. Now, many of you who make your own videos and that will generally know about keyframing, but if you don't know about keyframing, then I really, really recommend you, you get to learn it because when, once you understand the basics of keyframing, the rest of your video making it just becomes so much easier and there's so much more you can do once you've got this skill and it's actually a very very straightforward skill to to you know to to master now the reason i've put this video up now is because i'm about to make a tutorial on how i made this startup sequence Now people keep asking me how I made that startup sequence. Now the whole thing was done manually uh, using keyframing. So if you don't understand what keyframing is all about, then you're not going to understand the tutorial. That's sort of why I put this video up because um, at the beginning of the tutorial, what I'm going to do is refer people to this video if they don't understand what keyframing is. Now in this video, all I do is I animate very, very basically animate some text. The thing is, keyframing, the, the principle of keyframing can be applied to anything, not just text, but pictures, um, video clips, uh, anything. And uh, they can be animated across the screen in, in sort of any orientation, not just across the screen, but sort of, um, you know, zoom in and out. You can rotate and flip and do anything with keyframing. It's just a fantastic skill to have uh, and to add to your editing arsenal. So, here comes the basic keyframing tutorial. Enjoy. Okay, so what are keyframes? Well, keyframes are uh, just little position points um, that the computer makes a note of uh, when you tell it to. So, for example, if I want to add text to this screen and I want to move that te text from one side of the screen to the other, I need to tell the, uh, the editing software that I want it to start you know, over here. I need to tell it the position I want it to start at and I want to tell it the position I want it to finish at um, and the time distance between the two. So for example, if I just select that text and move it over to here, over here we've got the, um, the text properties. What I need to do is click the little, little stopwatch icon and what that does is that registers, you see these little black points here, uh, they have now registered uh, the position. This is the position, which is minus 58.8 by 303.9. That's its p physical position on the screen um, at 100% scale. And uh, it has now logged that position at that time index, which is zero right at the beginning. Now, say I want in five seconds that to go from that side of the screen to that side of the screen. What I need to do is grab the timeline move it across to five seconds, I should say four seconds, there we go, so that's now on four seconds and that's where the, the little scrubber bar thing um, is, is on four seconds and what I need to do then is re-register uh, some keyframes, now at the moment it's still in the same position so what I need to do is grab it and move it to where I want it to be after four seconds, okay remember the timeline is registered here at four seconds uh, I've now moved this to the position I want it to finish at and a keyframe has been registered by moving it I've registered a keyframe and uh, so if I go back to the beginning it now has two points registered uh, this one here at the beginning and uh, this one here at four seconds now what happens between naught and four seconds uh, the the object in this case it's the text will travel uh, from one keyframe position to the next keyframe position. So if I hit play, it will travel along like so. Now obviously this is very, very, very basic and uh, it's uh, the idea of uh, this video is just to give you the, the, the basic raw concept of keyframing. I mean, most of you, if you um, are into editing your own videos, there's a high chance you'll already know about keyframing, but this is um, it's just purely for beginners. Now this is where it can get um, a little bit more interesting. What I've got here is a basic 3D uh, 
thing which just basically enables me to do more than just move the text around it means I can tilt it and rotate it and swivel it so I'm going to drag that onto the clip and basic 3d controls appear here and what I'm going to do is at, right at the beginning I'm going to set my stopwatch so that's just put uh, registered uh, keyframes on uh, all of the positionings uh, at this starting point and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about halfway and halfway I want that text to flip backwards so what I will do is I will uh, I think it's swivel there we go I shall use my swivel command and I'll just, I'll just put that to where I want um, there we go so that's 180 degrees and then when it gets to the other keyframe at the other end which is back there I want it to go back to zero again so this time uh, when you hit play the text will do that so that's all there is to keyframing it's literally a case of a registering a start point registering a finish point uh, over a period of time on your timeline and all you've got to do is look for the little stopwatches and uh, the little little pips now on this software I don't know if it's the same with all of the software but I presume it's all fairly similar when you have a keyframe registered um, what you can do what what you should have is an arrow either side of that keyframe which literally takes you to the next keyframe now in this case uh, this keyframe is the one at 180 degrees in the middle let me zoom out a bit there we go and uh, if I go to the keyframe before that that will take me right to the beginning so you can navigate your keyframes quite easily using these little arrows either side but that's it that's all there is to keyframing it's literally just a case of registering a start point registering a finish point over the course of time on your timeline so um, if you haven't already got to grips with keyframing I really recommend it it's so straightforward and uh, with literally just a you know 10 minutes worth of practice with it uh, you'll become quite proficient at it and it means that your editing world can become so much bigger because there's so much more you can do when you understand the basic concept of keyframes so that's it basic 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 keyframing hopefully that was useful to someone if you want to go on to watch the new tutorial uh, on how to um, make that title startup sequence that I showed you at the beginning uh, I shall put a link here at the, uh, the end of this video which is uh, well right now thanks for watching have a great day and I'll see you soon